I don't want anyone to else to ever have to go through this. Family is mourning. And I hope no one ever does. Tonight, a family is mourning the loss of a wife and mother, COVID-19, taking her life at a young age. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Dan Ross going along with Ashley Moser tonight. The elderly aren't the only ones drastically impacted by the rising COVID-19 case counts. Nearly 20% of young adults hospitalized end up in the ICU. And such was the case of a Taylorsville mother. New specialist Garna Mejia has been tracking these latest developments. Garna? Yeah, good afternoon, you guys. We found that just this month, 13 Utahns under 44 years of age have died due to COVID-19. Now, that's a big number if you take into account that since the pandemic began, there's been 36 deaths in that age category, leaving their families heartbroken. When I came into her life, I was a uh, starving college student. Rudy Montoya describes this 41-year-old wife as driven, loving, and his biggest cheerleader. She still took time to try and take care of me and help me be a better man. Rudy was also Charity Montoya's biggest fan, staying home when their son was born so that she could pursue her career in science. That was primarily her wish. Uh, she always wanted to have one parent at home to look after our, ch our children. But 10 days ago, Rudy had to tell their five-year-old son that his mom was not coming home. That morning, he woke up and I cuddled him and I held him and I had to tell him the news. One of the hardest things I've ever had to do. The whole family got COVID. We didn't expect it to go this way at all. Most of us were relatively young, in respectable shape. But Charity's health took a downward spiral. Her body started shutting down like it just... It wasn't fighting back at a point. Cases like charities are becoming more common since the pandemic began. 36 Utahns ages 25 to 44 have died from COVID, but at least 13 of those deaths were reported just this month. Dr. Russell Vinnick of the University of Utah Health Hospital says it's hard to know if this is a trend because case numbers are up across the board. Probably over half of the cases statewide have happened in the last six weeks um, because we've just been having these enormous case counts. Younger adults are not immune to severe complications. It happens, and particularly younger people with comorbidities like diabetes or obesity. But then the virus affects everyone differently, as it did with Charity. She wasn't done. She had plans beyond that. Now, a GoFundMe account has been established to help Charity's family during these hard times.